to Kaiser University Center for Culinary Arts, Sarasota campus. Uh, my name is Chef Lockoff, and these are the students that are in our classical French cuisine class. Today we're going to be making crepes. Uh, we're going to show the, the technique of making crepes, and then we're going to make a classic crepe Suzette out of the actual crepes. Uh, you want to make sure that your, your crepe batter, you, you want to give it ample time for resting. Uh, you also want to make sure it's very thin. It tends to thicken up when you, when you rest it in, in the cooler. So you can thin that out by adding just a little bit of milk or a little bit of water. Okay. Make sure your pan is hot. And you can just kind of move the batter around like so. Coating the pan nice and even. You want to make sure that the crepe is, is very thin, very thin pancake. Control the heat as well. If you sense that the heat is, uh, if it's too strong for your pan, you can always pull the crepe aside and let it sit. There's enough heat in the pan that it will actually cook, continue to cook the crepe without actually burning the edges. So once you see that the crepe is getting close to being done, I like to wear gloves and flip it. There. Toast it evenly on each side. You don't want to get too much browning there. Okay. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to fold the crepe over. Okay. About a quarter piece there. I've got one that's already prepared from before. Now for our actual crepe Suzette, um, I like to add a little bit of butter to the pan to get it started. The butter is going to do two different things for it. Of course, flavor. We always add butter, especially in classic French. Uh, it's going to add shine and tremendous flavor to the dish. And once we've sauteed it with a little bit of butter, we are going to add our orange liqueur. Okay. Uh, whenever flambéing, you want to add it away from the flame for safety purposes. Okay. And then return it safely to the pan. You don't want it to burn the food product too much. Uh, we have a Suzette base sauce here close by we can actually extinguish those flames with. Then you want to simmer. Simmer the crepes in the sauce. It's going to take on a whole new texture. It's going to be very delicious. Okay, we can actually plate the dish. I'm going to plate a simple dish here. I've got some raspberry. A little bit of raspberry on the plate there. Once the crepe has simmered a little bit, you can actually go ahead and plate it. You don't want it to simmer too long because the caramel will cook down. So we've got raspberry, we've got the delicious orange flavor in the crepe. You can add a little bit of dish, additional sauce there. Okay. We're also going to add some fresh whipped cream. Okay. We have some toasted almonds. We are going to garnish the whipped cream and also sprinkle around their candied toasted almonds. And there you have it. This is a classical French dessert um, crepe Suzette with the classical French cuisine class at Kaiser University Sarasota campus.